Welcome to this explainer video where I will show you an example of using triangles of velocity to work out our heading, our drift and our ground speed. In our plug we've already got origin, destination, in this case Chatteris to Boston, our minimum safe altitude, our MSA, our altitude, our true airspeed and our track. Wind I've got from the Met Office using form 214 and we've recorded that as 260 at 15 knots. So now we need to draw the triangle of velocity so we can fill in the remainder of that plug. First thing we're going to do is to draw a north line on a blank piece of paper. I'm using a standard ruler here using the millimeter scale. Draw it nice and large. A diamond on the end to show it's north. It's worth labeling things as you draw it. Mark a point on the line which we will use to mark the various information off. So what do we have already? We have our track true. So our track true is 349 from the plug. So we put the dot of the tractor and we line up north and we mark 349 degrees. The more accurate we draw this, the more accurate the results will be. So we draw that from the centre dot, nice and long again. And let's write the 3, 4, 9 degree, the heading on the piece of paper too. Next we're going to draw the wind on and we've got the wind from our plug. You may recall I said that was 260 degrees at 15 knots. So if you find 260, make a mark. And then if you find 260 here on the inner scale, you can see the reciprocal heading is 080, so you can just put a mark there as well. So we just join those two marks up. And we put three arrows on here in the direction the wind is blowing to mark it as wind. I find it useful to write that on here as well. Now we have that marked, what we need to do is to take the wind speed, which was 15 knots, and using our millimetre scale, mark a point 15 millimetres from the north line intersection along the wind line. And that was 15 knots. We've got our true airspeed, 70 knots. So this is the only tricky bit here really, is find 70 on your millimetre ruler, put that on the wind speed mark, and then move the ruler so it intersects our heading, the 349 here, and I'm drawing that down from there to the wind line. So that is the triangle of velocity drawn. Now we need to read it. Ground speed, if we measure along our track here, what's that, 67 millimetres, maybe 68 millimetres. So our ground speed is from here to the measurement point here, and that is 67 knots. So we've got our ground speed, and we can put that in the plug in a minute. Now we need to know the angle of drift and the heading. So for the heading, we measure the angle here. So we line one of the vertical lines up on the protractor so we can make sure we're parallel to north. So we read the heading off here, which is 3, 3, 6 degrees. Now we just need to know the drift angle, which we measure this angle here and we've got 13 degrees of drift. So now we can write all that back in the plug. Our heading, true, 336, 336 degrees. Our drift angle, 
13 degrees. The variance we've already got off the map, which is zero, which saves me doing any maths. So our heading that we want to fly will be 336 degrees. Our ground speed will be 67 knots. And now we can complete the rest of the plug using normal mathematics. Hope that's been useful.